What's up boys, welcome back to another video. As you guys may have saw yesterday, I released my first top 25 for the college basketball season. And, um, uh... <coughs> yeah, if you watched some of the games yesterday, you would know there were some pretty big upsets. And today, actually. So, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna redo it. I'm gonna start from scratch. Just ignore it yesterday yesterday did not happen we're gonna from now on it's gonna be every sunday instead of every saturday like i said so every sunday is new college basketball rankings so let's get right into it starting off with number 25 the richmond spiders who just knocked off kentucky today pretty handily richmond is undefeated their team to look out for later in the season Kentucky, I thought Kentucky looked pretty good. Uh, their first game, Richmond completely flipped that around and changed things today. So Richmond at 25. Number 24 is the Virginia Tech Hokies. Virginia Tech also with a ginormous upset. They upset uh, the Villanova Wildcats yesterday in a, a major upset. Villanova has been playing a lot lately. Uh, which may have helped Virginia Tech get things going since they've been playing so much. But either way, for Virginia Tech to just be in the top 25. So at 24 is where I'm putting them for now. And at 23 still is NC State. I had them here yesterday in my rankings. And this team, uh, I love what I'm seeing from this team. Very talented. Very youthful. Uh, but they got some great big men in DJ Funder Book, Burke, and Manny Bates. To just protect the rim and score and, and can score in the post, like what I'm seeing from them. So NC State at 23, Michigan at 22. Uh, as I said yesterday, Jawan Howard, fantastic coach. Personally, I, that's what I think. Uh, the team is talented. Don't know how long we'll be able to keep this up. Uh, haven't played much yet. We'll see what comes in the future, but right now I gotta have a 22 for Michigan. Number 21, Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers is a team out of the Big Ten that, you know, is on the rise in many sports. Football, they're improving. Basketball, they're improving. Things are looking good in Rutgers this year so far. And I think it'll continue to be like that. Number 21, 21 for Rutgers. Number 20, the Texas Longhorns. Uh, this kid, Greg Brown, as you guys may know, uh, he's absolutely fantastic. You guys might have saw that monster donkey put up a couple of days ago. That was insane. Uh, coach Smart is, uh, I think, a good coach. And he'll be able to help the Texas Longhorns do pretty well this season. And right now they're at 20 for me. Number 19, Ohio State. Well, ignore that you saw that. Number 19 is the Ohio State Buckeyes. Starting off the season well. Haven't played much competition, but they've been in my preseason rank, so I had to just leave them here. So yes, 19 for Ohio State. Number 18, as you guys just saw, uh, the yet-to-play Florida State Seminoles. Uh, Florida State, very talented team. I think they are underranked. I feel like they will be making their way up the rankings as the year goes on. Gotti Barnes, absolutely fantastic. Uh, great potential there. Lost two uh, lottery picks in the NBA draft, but they returned so much uh, scoring that I think it won't really matter that much. Uh, I like Florida State this year. So 18 right now in the rankings. Number 17. This game has not ended. But I'm watching Houston versus Texas Tech right now. And although Texas Tech has looked really good this year, uh, they're kind of getting beat pretty good by Houston right now. So I'm just going to assume that we're going to lose this and move them down to 17 for now. It's possible they can come back, but I highly doubt it. Now that I said it, they probably are. So I'm just going to leave them at 17, assuming they're going to lose for Texas Tech. And at number 16... I think the biggest faller of the day, dropping nine spots from my yesterday's ranking, I believe, 
is the Kentucky Wildcats. Although they lost to a good team in Richmond, they look completely like polar opposites from what they did in their first game of the season. They did not look together, they didn't like they were playing as a team, and they just got beat on every level of the court. So 16 for the Kentucky Wildcats. Number 15, the Michigan State Spartans, who I was debating putting under Kentucky. I mean, but I haven't, even because they haven't played anyone really at all. But Michigan State, they haven't shown me a real reason to move them below Kentucky. So I have to just leave them here for 15 for Michigan State. Number 14, the Carolina Tar Heels. Uh, Tar Heels have only played one game so far. Freshmen look absolutely fantastic. And I expect more from the upperclassmen like Harrison Brooks uh, in the next game that I could help, which could definitely help them in the long run, especially as we get into these tougher matchups that we're about to enter. Uh, so UNC at 14 right now for the week. Number 13, the Duke Blue Devils. I was not impressed by their performance in the first half against uh, Copeland State, I believe their name is. I don't think they look that good. Uh, point guard, not looking like it's going to be a good position for them. Not, They have some shooters on the roster this year, but I still think all around it's going to be a struggle for them to make the three ball this year. So I think Duke's going to be here at 13 this week. And number 12, as I was talking about earlier, currently Houston is up by 17 with 13 to go in the game. I think Houston probably will be able to pull this one out. And if that is the case, that will be their first ranked win of the season. And that definitely gives them big points in the rankings. So Houston is up to 12 now. Number 11, West Virginia. West Virginia so far has looked good. Love the coaching, love the atmosphere there in West Virginia. Uh, you gotta, you gotta give the Mountaineers credit. So far, undefeated, and they've played quite a bit, but they haven't really shown any signs of fatigue, or you can tell the team has been conditioned well. they played a lot so far in the first week of college basketball, and they have not shown many signs of weakness at all. So number 11 for West Virginia. Number 10, uh, Virginia, who I believe I moved up a little bit slightly from yesterday's, not yesterday's, two days ago's lost to San Francisco, which was pretty bad. Not a good look for them. I had to move them up just because uh, Villanova, not Villanova, Kentucky lost. That's pretty much the only reason. Still not a big fan of this team to be, be that much this year. So number 10 for the Cavaliers. Number nine, Tennessee, who I, who still has yet to play. But I still like this roster. Haven't seen anything yet for them. But I'm just moving them up because teams that are above them are losing. So I had to do it. So nine for the Volunteers this week. And number eight, dropping six spots in the rankings is Villanova. I really didn't want to drop them this far. But I felt like I have to. Probably in more in the six or seven range. But eight is going to have to be what they are. They have been playing a lot, but they did lose to Virginia Tech, who is a good team. But you could see that they weren't really prepared for this team, as they probably have should have. Still a very talented team who I expect to go really far this season, but number eight this week for Villanova. Number seven, Creighton, whose game just ended. They looked really good today. So I had to move them up to number seven for the Blue Jays. And then number six, the Kansas Jayhawks, who ha do have a loss, but that loss is to uh, Gonzaga, who is definitely a top team in college basketball. So I couldn't hurt them that bad for it. And since Villanova and Kentucky lost, I had to move them up a little bit. So number six for the Jayhawks. Wisconsin. Yes, I know. Wisconsin is 100% not a top five team in college basketball. They're very talented, and I think they'll do really well this season, but they're definitely not top five. But I just have to put them here 
right now just because teams above them are just losing and they're not losing. That's really the only reason. I don't expect them to stay here very long. No offense, uh, Badger fans. But So right now, enjoy while you have it. Wisconsin, number five team in the nation. At number four is the uh, Illinois Fighting Illini, who looks really good this season. Uh, Ayu Dusumu and Kobe Coburn leading that team to great things this year, I believe. And so far, it's been what I expected. Maybe even a little more. They look really good. So number four for Illinois. At number three is Iowa. Luca Garza, probably right now the favorite to win the College National Player of the Year, which I cannot question at all because he's he just dropped 41 in his last game. He looks absolutely fantastic right now, as well as his team does. So number three, since Villanova lost, got to move him up. And at number two, uh, finally got their first win under their belt, the Baylor Bears. At number two now because Villanova lost. I do like the Baylor Bears, obviously, but not as much as who I have at number one. Who is, of course, you guys should guess, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Gonzaga, I think right now, just looks like the far, by far best team in college basketball. Uh, already having a top 10 win under the belt beating Kansas. The team looks absolutely fantastic. They got young talent, they got experience, they got coaching, they got pretty much everything you want. Except for, they're not going to have the hardest schedule in the world outside of the non-conference games. But obviously playing in the West Coast Conference isn't going to give you that many uh, strength of schedule points. But this Gonzaga team, I don't think there's really an argument to make that they're not the number one team in the nation right now. So yes, Gonzaga number one. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you are alerted every time I put out a video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.